So Valkyrie ended up quitting Reflect and the entire brand shut down. The website here says Reflect is no longer available. Thank you to all who played important roles to conduct research, develop products, create a brand, and serve as partners along our journey. While we believe in the formulations created after further reflection, ha! <laughs> funny quirky. We have decided to move forward to new paths, effectively terminating the Reflect brand. Should you have further questions, please contact blank. And nothing of value was lost. And I gotta say, feeling pretty optimistic. Because since the last time we spoke about this drama, I had a strong feeling Valkyrie was gonna triple down and say, No guys, trust me, it works. It's really useful. You do need this. Guys, blue light pollution is worse than AIDS. You just gotta look at the research. Look at the studies. But she didn't. She just completely ditched the company and the company shut down. Now, I was a little bit confused, however, because when she responded to a lot of the criticism, she did mention that she was contractually bound to the company. Are you still sticking with the company? And if so, is it because you stand by the product, do the research you've seen, or is it because you're stuck in a contract for, of some sorts? I am in a bound contract. I do believe in the product, but I do also wish to not be involved because the research can't be public. Now, first of all, the only reason she said, oh yeah, I believe in the product, is because at the time when this apology was released, she was still actually part of the company. Now, fast forward a little bit to today, some DMs got leaked between her and fellow streamer Ludwig, where she pretty much says, oh yeah, by the way, there was a certain contract that they wanted me to sign that I actually didn't sign that might allow me to get out of this whole disaster. Yulta invested four million, so it's like, why wouldn't they make it legit? Why would a company like Yulta invest in something like this if they also so didn't believe the research. They just don't understand how this ruins my brand. If the research isn't public, I really needed it to be public, lol. I'm so dumb. I should have asked more questions. I just thought it would be obvious that it would be there. I'm just gonna embrace the scammer life, get out of the contract, and admit I was an idiot. Lamau. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, yeah, bro. Whoa! Just scammed a bunch of 14-year-olds. Whoa! Lamau, <laughs> Lamau, you asked your parents who are barely getting by for 20 bucks you could buy your favorite streamer's product. Woo! I made a bunch of people go hungry because they decided to buy some skincare product that actually does nothing instead of purchasing dinner for that night. Woo! No, I'm joking. It's just so weird throughout this entire drama how her proclivity has been to focus on how she can maintain her brand image and to look the best as possible rather than to actually take accountability and make things right. Like, she literally just said she was gonna ditch ship and let the whole thing burn. She was literally like, oh, I just gotta get out of here fast. But it's like, dog, yeah, you might be safe because you're out of the contract, but there was probably a thousand people that purchased this product that you were shilling that are now just like, okay, what the hell are you doing? Come on, I thought you were supposed to be behind us. Do you even care about us? They hate me for leaving the contract, but it's looking like it's possible, so I'm hopeful. Lol, F them. it'll hurt their brand to have you stay. Because apparently I didn't sign one of the contracts, so I have a little bit of leverage. It's it's like a win-win five head. Right now, we have been going back and forth with PR lawyers for a statement, and they are just gonna try to get me to say the dumbest shit like, while I will still be using Reflect products, I hope nothing but the best for this passionate team. I really messed up with trusting these people. Lol, lol, that's psychopathic. And you gotta love it, bro. She catches herself in 58K ultra widescreen HD by pretty much saying that, oh yeah, saying something dumb would be like saying, I still believe in the product and I'm still gonna be using it, where she pretty much just admits that the product product is dumb. So she pretty much has been lying from the start when she said stuff like, well, I, I still believe in the product. <laughs> I do believe in the product. Yeah, bro. I'm sure you do. I'm, I'm really sure no DMs will leak later on in this, you know, this whole drama that suggests otherwise. Anyways, the owner of 100 Thieves, the organization that Valkyrie Ray is in, pretty much went on a podcast with another streamer and basically the topic of this whole thing came up and I just want to highlight how just hard to listen to this conversation was. At one point, I swear to God, this dude who's like a guest on the show compares Valkyrie Ray selling a scam product to Travis Scott selling hamburgers at McDonald's. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give a take on this. Regardless of how you feel about the product, right? Because I, I, I honestly think that the outrage is inflated, right? How many fucking beauty products have, are, are anti-aging? 
right? Oh, I know, dude. You can't, I, you yes, can't fucking retweet. stop aging. Why is it? Why is it, why is no one fucking losing their mind about all the anti aging, anti wrinkle shit? Hey, dumbass! It's because nobody thinks that by rubbing some anti aging thing into your skin, you're actually going to stop time from occurring, but rather your skin will look more clear and hence look more youthful. I can't believe that's an actual point that this guy brought up. You don't think that if some you know some company sold a product and said, "Oh yeah, by the way, yeah, this this will actually permanently stop your skin from aging whatsoever. The effects of time will literally be stopped by this product." And you realize that it's bullshit. You don't think anybody would say, "Hey, this is completely a scam." They of course they would. And it's like to air is human and to me Ray is a person who has built her career on being a decent human being and a, and a good creator. So for everybody in the world to just come out of the fucking, you know, darkness and be like, well, I'm a, I'm a goddamn beauty expert now. And this is a scam and blah, 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 blah. I was just like, what the fuck, man? Like, obviously, you know, if, if you don't agree with the science, if you don't agree with what she's doing, don't buy the product. <laughs> <laughs> dude, is this, are you serious, dude? I mean, first of all, you are right. Like, I will not buy the product, no shot. But this really can't be your answer to the problem. Oh yeah, if you don't like it, then just don't buy it. That logic applies with like, I don't know, video games, merchandise. If you don't like or enjoy something, then don't buy it. But when a streamer that you look up to is telling you that the thing that they're selling has all these positive benefits and you trust that that person has your best interests in mind, obviously it's not as simple as, well, just don't buy it then. I I just hate that it became like the, the the vogue thing to do to just like take shots at at a person who has been a pretty decent human being the entirety of her career. That's my take. Well, I don't, I, I, don't I, I truly don't think you could have said that any better because that literally I encapsulated exactly how I feel. I don't know how these people are adults, bro. I gotta say the name 100 Thieves, pretty ironic now that Valkyrie has been pretty much stealing money from teenagers. I don't know where the other 99 thieves are. They're probably lurking in the shadows, but there's one of them. When, yeah. when Ray told me about this idea a year and a half ago, I, I mean, I don't know a goddamn thing about blue light, but I know what, what people have sold blue light glasses before and maybe how blue light affects your eyes is different the way that it affects your skin. But for me that doesn't know anything about the beauty industry except for all of the things that you just said, they advertise that this skin product will basically make you stop aging and nobody bats an eye. I mean, right. the beauty industry is a like a multi-billion billion billion dollar industry and it has been and always will be wait so this guy just acknowledged that the beauty industry is kind of known for pulling some bullshit and he wants to become a part of it now what that's so weird to just go out publicly and say that. And it's like not even her field. Her whole thing is that she's a gamer. Why not just innovate on a gaming product? Like, if the reason she wanted to make something was because of her creative desire or her inner entrepreneur, why don't you just make something that is in your field? Anyways, rest in piss, reflect. Uh, you will not be missed. I'm smoking your pack as we speak. Now, with all jokes aside, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Comment down hamburger if you made it to the end of the video and I'll try to heart your comment. Follow my social medias and and big thanks to my channel members. I'll see you guys later.